Educational Technology, Lesson 11 The Computers as the Teacher's Tool The computer has provided us different uses, gave us advantages and convenience. The trend nowadays is information technology, which make use the computer in all its applications. Computers have been already used in schools to provide and facilitate students' learning. It can in fact support the constructivist and social constructivist paradigms of learning. Constructivism The constructivism was introduced by Piaget 1981 and Brunner 1990. They gave stress to knowledge discovery of new meaning, concepts, principles, and the learning process. Social constructivism the social constructivism is an effort to show the construction of knowledge is governed by social, historical, and cultural contexts. In effect, this is to say that the learner who interprets knowledge has predetermined point of view, according to the social perspectives of the community or society he lives in. We have here a table that shows the summary of the two learning perspectives. Please take a look. As you can see, this table shows the comparison between constructivism and social constructivism when it comes to different aspects in learning. The computer's capabilities. Given its present day speed, flexibility, and sophistication, the computer can provide access to information, poster creative social knowledge building, and enhance the communication. Without the computer today's, learners may still be assuming the tedious task of low-level information. Based on the two learning theories, the teachers can employ the computer as an informative tool, communication tool, constructive tool, co-constructive tool, and situating tool. Informative tool. The computer can provide vast amounts of information in various forms, such as text, graphics, sound, and video. Communication tool. The communication tool are diverse set of technological tools and resources used to communicate, create, disseminate, store, and manage information. Include computers, the internet, broadcasting technologies, and telephony. Constructive tool. The computer itself can be used for manipulating information, visualizing one's understanding, and building new knowledge. The Microsoft Word computer program itself is this the publishing software that allows users to organize and present their ideas in attractive formats. Co-constructive tool. The students use co-constructive tools to work cooperatively and construct a shared understanding of new knowledge. The Computer Supported Intentional Learning Environment, or the CSILE, is an example of integrated environment developed by the Ontario Institute for Studies Education. Students can enter their ideas in notes and respond to each other's ideas. Situating Tool By means of virtual reality, an extension system, the computer can create 3D images on display to give the user the feeling that are situated in virtual environment. The Flight Simulation Program is an example of situating tool which places the user in simulated flying environment. And also, the multi-user domains, mod object-oriented and multi-user shared hallucination are example of situating system reality, such as by writing on a notice board through simple text-based To caution users, the computer as a situating tool is new and still undergoing further research and development.